you know, I think I'm just kind of learning to just don't do everything at the highest limit necessarily, you know, try to play within, within myself a little bit more. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, don't always try to make the great play or, you know, just always try to get the next base. Just try to, uh, you know, just be a little bit more conservative sometimes because, uh, you know, coming up, they always te teach you to be as aggressive as possible. And I think I might have taken that a little bit too literally. Thompson on his horse going after it. And look at the diving cap. Sure. It's like you're making a movie. Oh, you're starting to face. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't fall down. All right, let's go to practice. Don't even know if I ever really knew I was born in Reading because it was, never really came up, but I was raised in Philadelphia, Glenside, Abington area. I had a lot of family there, my grandparents. And when I was eight years old, I moved up to Montrose, Pennsylvania. Uh, we moved to a farm, uh, had all sorts of animals, about 100 acres, did, uh, you know, sheep and cows, you know, pretty much horses, everything you could imagine. Had hay fields and corn fields, and I uh, just kind of grew up with a pretty rural life. Um, and lived there until I was, you know, 18 and went up to school. I remember playing t-ball when I was in Glenside, and I guess I played that for a year, and then I moved up to Pennsylvania, and I joined the Little League team, I think I was eight my first year, and um, always loved it. Um, I had a baseball field, it was at the bottom of the valley we lived in, a couple of farm, a couple of fields down, and uh, one of my summer jobs was to mow the field. So, uh, you know, I just always just to play with my friends, do that, or basketball, and it's just one of those things I just always loved. Go play. Yeah. Right. You hit homers today. Yeah, I'm not gonna strike out that side. You're not gonna strike out. Good. Okay. All right. Oh, get that, Clay. Get it. Throw the first. Get it. Throw the first. Almost got him. Nice catch, Clay. Yeah, he's a good hitter. He hits it really far, doesn't he? Oh, I gotta go be catcher. Ready? Whoa. Get him in here. So what are we? The, are, we the, are, we the, are we the bees? Are we the bees? Oh. What are we? Oh, oh, no, no, okay. oh we're, the, we're the, the G's. G's? No. What C's? A's. All right, then let's hear you shout it. Ready? One, two, three. A's. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm so sorry. I thought we were. Guys, we need to picnic tables. We're gonna eat in the grass. No, I'm hungry. It's a forklift.
Okay. I think we can do that. Yeah, we gotta ask Bill, the grounds crew guy. That's how they like it. It's so they um. Yeah, so it doesn't get hard. You're not going to get wet, huh? You guys can sit here and eat if you want, Charlotte. Okay, Where let's go out. Done? That's great. I mean, I'm fortunate to, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and, you know, bring one in this field. It's fantastic. And the thing that makes me the happiest is just he's old enough now that it's something that will stick in his mind. Um, you know, the last couple of years, you know, there's three. We bring him out here and do the same thing. but. You know, I didn't know if he'd really remember it when he got older, but this is something that I think he'll have in the back of his mind as he, you know, becomes a teenager and my career is over. That was a pretty good one. No, I want to see a further one, farthest one ever. You don't need to run, Clay, you can get more practice in this way. All right, you can run after your next far one. That wasn't far. Are your fingers? Ow. Good. Run. Here it comes. Go back. Good. Good job, catcher. Throw back. My turn. All right, good job. Hey. All right, let's see. Hi, right, Sean. Okay? What's that? You're batting. I'm batting. <laughs> Ready? Good. Leave it down. You don't have to take it off every time you throw a ball back. Ready to go? I want to see your arm. We're going to be timing you. 1.8 is exceptional for a major league catcher. What? Hello, 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 hello. You'll be out. I think you'll make it for that. Oh. I might try taking BP today. Let me get my back. It's a shortstop in you know Little League, and um, I ended up switching high schools in eighth grade, and I tried out for the team in ninth grade, and I was one of two people to get cut. We had just indoor practices for three days, and the only other kid that got cut had a broken leg, you know, from the football season. So um, I was pretty, my hopes were pretty down then. You know, I thought, well, that's the end of me being a professional baseball player or baseball player at all. I couldn't even make the JV team. Um, my friend's dad, uh, Aaron Arnold. Uh, from Montrose, he, uh, his dad called and told the coach that I was a good kid and you know maybe she let me on and you know just see what happens. So I ended up getting called back. He let me be on the team. Uh, put me in the outfield because I was pretty fast. And uh, next year I was on varsity. And um, you know I went to a couple camps when I was in high school because we didn't get a whole lot of coverage and we played 10 to 12 games depending on the weather. And um, you know there weren't really any scouts out or anything like that. So I went to Princeton and I went to James Madison. Um, and I got MVP of those two camps, and just from running the 60-yard dash, they asked me if I wanted to go there. So, um, you know, really it was my speed that opened some doors for me. How are you? I couldn't get everything live in a flat 
Defense is one of the big strengths we had this year that we might not have had the same as, as last year. Uh, you know, we turn a lot of double plays. Um, everybody's got good range. Um, you know, we pretty much make all the routine plays. So that's that's something I think that we're short on last year. And we just have a bunch of guys that can do a lot of different things. Um, we probably don't have quite as much power as we had last year, but for a ballpark this big, that's you know not necessarily always an asset.